I'm very lucky that one of my parents and one of my, two of my students actually, have been Explorer Vision, um, not really pioneers, more like veterans. Um, one of my students this year, one of my national winning students, uh, this was her fourth year entering Explorer Vision. Um, first year as a national winner. Um, so I've been very lucky to have that kind of support around me and kind of actually guiding me through the process too. I definitely have a process. Um, I use it as part of the curriculum in Honors Biology, so there's an entire rubric that goes with it to keep them on task from coming up with three ideas first and then we discuss them and narrow it down and then they have to show me some research. Um, at least six different sources and we go from there um, until it's perfect and ready to be submitted. I ask kids that are good at school, can do their own work, and um, they're just interested in science and they have really good ideas. And then um, I also look at their parents because <laughs> they're going to have, since they're younger, they have to go home and um, figure out, you know, like a homework project, do some research. And this is kind of the first time they've really done a lot of research. So we look at that and then we ask them to come back together and um, brainstorm ideas of what they can make better, what bugs them. And they come back and we t talk about what they've come up with and we think about you know, how they can make it futuristic 20 years from now. So this was my first year entering the program, so I tried taking a very demanding task and breaking it down into smaller parts. So in terms of the process, the students start in the beginning of the year with a proposed project. Um, from there, we have conference and kind of narrow down their topic. And then there's a series of steps they complete before the final research paper. I make them submit an annotated bibliography, uh, an outline, and then a rough draft, which I edit, and they also experience peer editing. And then finally, by January, it's time for them to submit their final project. I'm pretty adamant about the process, and in our school building, anyone who wants to do it is welcome to do it. I don't like being tied to grades or what people think you know is the standard to go by. So we have students who maybe are not the um, most accomplished book-wise, but have done fabulous and had great ideas. So I like to keep it open to everyone.